connection. Do you remember when I told you I wasn't crazy? Well, I was wrong. I think I am crazy. When I left, everything was fine. And I got about halfway down the block and there was this old lady coming the other way. She asked me for a cigarette. Only she didn't call it a cigarette. She called it a cigarette. Got a cigarette, she said. <laughs> well. I already had one lit and the pack was in my hand, so I couldn't just walk away. So I shook her out one, but it fell on the sidewalk. I wasn't sure if I should give her that one, so I shook out another one. And she took that one, and then she bent down and picked up the one on the sidewalk and put it in her pocket. Then she put the one in her mouth and stood there, waiting for me to light it. Yeah, I lit it. Like she was my goddamn girlfriend or something. And then she just left. She didn't even say thank you or anything. She just left. When I got to the video store, there must have been like 300 people there that day. Saturday. Forgot what Saturdays were like. It seemed like everywhere I went, 10 people followed me. It's like they were all looking for the same movie I was. And then I noticed this little kid. He had to have been about six or seven. And he just kept staring at me. He was filthy. He had these glasses on that magnified his eyes about three times their normal size. And he was just staring at me. He had this stuff stuck all over his glasses. It looked like like dried eggs and crumbs of God knows what. And he just kept staring at me. Well, I knew I had to get the hell out of there. I started getting real itchy and sweaty, and I had a hard time catching my breath. And when I left, there were all those people and their cars and well, I just knew I wasn't going to make it. That's when I called you. Take me home tonight. I don't want to let you go.